Filming The Flash is no easy task. There's a lot of stunt work and many times the actors have to do it themselves. If you want to know how they dealt with Jesse's medical leave, Danielle's cracked and stitched forehead and all of the accident Grant Gustin has been in, then keep watching. Because here is The Flash all accidents the cast have been through. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Jesse L. Martin The first person we're going to be talking about is Joe West. Erm, um, that's Jesse L. Martin for the ones that haven't watched the show. But there was something odd about season 5. We didn't get to see Iris' father that often here. And even when we did, he was oftentimes sitting. Why is that? That's because he suffered a back injury during the show's hiatus. This forced him to take a medical leave and be absent from the show for 11 episodes. No one knew why, so fans started talking as they realized Joe was absent from the show. Then, the CW came out with a statement saying, Jesse Martin is taking a medical leave of absence from The Flash. We wish him a full and speedy recovery and look forward to his return as Detective Joe West. When he came back, the show played off his absence as a vacation trip. They said that Joe was on a vacation, spending time with his son Wally West, and it actually worked. Although, they didn't explain how Joe could smash that like button while you haven't done so already. But no, what they didn't actually explain is how Joe could be on vacation while the cicada crisis was going on. Well, guess they needed some explanation for the injury. This changes everything. The last thing I thought at our age we'd be having a baby. <laughs> I know. Hartley Sawyer This has got to be one of the biggest injuries that happened on the set of The Flash, and it has nothing to do with bone breaking or skull fractures. This was a fatal injury to Hartley Sawyer's career. In The Flash, he was playing the clumsy and goofy elongated man aka Ralph Dibney. He wasn't a main or likable character on the show and that's why his pink slip didn't cause much trouble on the show, especially not when we realized the reason he's been fired. This previous year, amidst the COVID-19 pandemic and the George Floyd protests in the USA, someone uncovered hateful tweets on Sawyer's Twitter account. Full of misogyny, hate speech, racism, and homophobia, Hartley revealed his true face to the entire world. The fans were livid and so were the directors and showrunners of the show. And very soon after this revelation, the CW came out with a statement. The statement read, Hartley Sawyer will not be returning for season 7 of The Flash. They then continued, in regards to Mr. Sawyer's post on social media, we do not tolerate derogatory marks, derogatory marks that target any race, ethnicity, national origin, gender, or sexual orientation. Even though his Twitter account has been deleted, there are still screenshots of his tweets circulating the web. As for his Instagram account, he hasn't posted anything since the apology post on May 30th, 2020. Danielle Panabaker there was something different about Caitlyn Snow aka Daniel Panabaker during the second season of The Flash. But what? Well, if you notice her hair, you'll see that Danielle has bangs throughout the season. And this wasn't an accident, even though it started with one. You see, Danielle injured her forehead while filming season 2 of The Flash. She was rushed to the hospital and got several stitches. Because the wound was too big to cover with makeup, they had to find some other ways of concealing it. Enter the bangs. The actress was sort of forced to cut her hair in order to conceal the scar, but she wasn't sad about it. In fact, she even said that she embraced the change. She learned to play with styling and ironing them. Because of this, the actress has bought a teeny tiny flat iron from Amazon for dirt cheap. At the time, every time she needed to go out, she would just flatten her bangs and she felt like she was ready to go. Now that's how you embrace the change. I've had somebody else's voice coming out of my mouth and you were still able to see the real me. How about trusting that I can do the same thing? Logan Williams You might not remember this actor from the show, but his was the most tragic story of all. Logan played young Barry Allen on The Flash. He was 16 years old and couldn't wait to show the world what he's got. Sadly, we didn't get to see this star shine in Hollywood. In the spring of last year, Logan Williams passed away at the age of 16. With sorrow and tears in their eyes, Logan's parents have said the pandemic has made matters even worse. After her son's untimely passing, Marlise Williams wrote, I'm not able to hug my parents who lost their only grandchild. She then continued, It's hard. With his talent and gorgeous looks, Logan had the potential to be a huge star. When the cast of The Flash heard this, they all responded to Logan's tragic passing. One of these people was John Wesley Shipp. He plays Jay Garrick on The Flash and he posted a collage of him and Logan behind the scenes. In the same Twitter post, he said, 
heartsick to learn of Logan Williams' death at 16. He was 100% committed to playing young Barry Allen, and we missed him once we moved past that part of the story. Love and compassion to Logan's family and friends in your grief. One of the actors even said that Logan was surely going to be a star when he grew up. Even at such a young age, he has appeared on Supernatural and The Flash. He was also part of When Calls the Heart and several other roles. The death of such a young actor has even sparked the old Barry Allen aka Grant Gustin to write a few words of encouragement to his family. He posted an old picture from 2014 where he, Logan, and Jesse are posing backstage. The star told the parents that he's sending his best regards to the family and recognized William's professionalism on the set. He finished the post by saying, sending love to everyone. Grant Gustin Finally, we've saved the best for last. Grant Gustin has had more than one injury behind the scenes of The Flash. Since he likes to do some of his own stunts, accidents are inevitable. Now, the first one we're going to talk about came when they were filming the first season of The Flash. He was still a newbie and no one really knew that this show would become a major hit. During one of the scenes where Barry Allen manages to escape from a car crash thanks to the Speed Force, something happened. The actor could be seen taking a photo after crawling out of the car. Man, the show must have some really gifted makeup artists. Wait, what? You mean to tell us that this is actually a real gash on his forehead? We told you filming your own stunts is dangerous, but Grant is never the one to cry and whine about a little blood. He smiled at the cameras, waved his hand, and proudly showed everyone the bruise. He even posted a picture to his social media, tilting it, set today. Utilizing real scar, hashtag peace, hashtag the flash. The second injury that he was in was during his Glee days. On Glee, he played one of the main villains on the show known as Sebastian Smith. Even though he's a gifted dancer, Gustin had some trouble riding his bike. While going to the gym, Grant was in a terrible accident and he had to be hospitalized. Even though he had one dislocated elbow and a fractured arm, he's still giving his fans the thumbs up. When people started sending him get well soon posts, he just tweeted the following. Thanks for the love and the well wishes, friends. I'll be okay. Because this was way back in June of 2013, the tweet doesn't exist. But we do know that the actor had no problem returning to the show after the recovery. It's two days, all right? Ramsey's been off the grid for two weeks. Crisis is coming, no matter what. On a related note, do you know any directors who like to torture their stars on the set? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.